Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Stein Bear, and we got a request for a busted blade build. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and try and put one together, see what we can make happen. Just as a reminder, we'll jump in here. The busted blade here uh, deals extra damage per empower during battle rage immediately goes down to only three stamina usage and the cooldown drops to three seconds other than that it is five and five so we will need to grab ways to speed up our attacks over the course of the run here and then see where we go from there and let's see what we can get here um hmm <clears throat> I guess I could go ahead and grab you and a whetstone, get a little bit extra damage for this first round. Yeah, easily get her into battle rage, and there it is. Easy win. Number one. Let's go. All right, got that. Haste bag. And another regen, another two regen, I should say. Keep that health flowing in there so we can stay alive while we uh, bring this pyromancer to our knees. Oh, yeah, we got this one too. Another easy win. Perfect. All right. Um,. Probably go with a banana here. A little bit of stamina to help us out later. <clears throat> so we're definitely gonna want stamina for all the the uh, all the stamina the busted blade is gonna be using. Ooh, this one might be rough. Haven't hit battle rage yet. So maybe that'll keep us alive through fatigue. Hey, it did. Nice. Love to see it. Uh, there's a leaf badge. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything that Ranger has that we really will want? <clears throat> Basically, we could then get Clover. Not class items. Wait. Uh... We could get clover or carrot. Carrot would be huge, honestly, um, because of the empower buff. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab grab that. Um, I'm gonna get another regen as well. Another healing herbs. All right, so far so good against this ranger, this bunny ranger here. Oh, maybe not. We got hit real hard. Oh, battle rage saved us. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right. Um, nothing really there. There's a clover. We'll definitely take that. Definitely take a spike collar as well for longer battle rage. And then there's our next whetstone, also on sale. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, can we survive the poison? I think we got this, honestly. Um, it is going to be a lot of poison, but uh, we're healing pretty well. We got a good amount of regen. Oh, maybe not. Poison stacked up too quick for us. Got our first loss there. That's okay. Hero sword. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm probably going to do... Oh, no, because I want that next to the uh, forging hammer. So the forging hammer gets the... Hero sword buff. All right. Um, hmm. Definitely want to take another banana. Uh, so we get the double bananas there. And then I don't think I really want to go for the hero longsword. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal in the long run. So I'm just going to go ahead and start there. <clears throat> Because really, I need to get to where I can find a uh, a broken blade or a busted blade. 
impractically large great sword to turn into a busted blade, I should say. Ooh, all right, doing good so far against this one. Similar builds here, but they had the armor instead of the buckler. Buckler clearly excelled there. Uh, let's see, they did have the claws. Uh, we had the, whereas we had the spike collar and the uh, leaf badge it did give us some crit chance and some extra luck. So that was probably pretty important too. There we go, another luck. Keep rolling through. We definitely want more bag space because the uh, busted blade is real big. All right, Pyromancer, what you got? We got a Bloodthorn build going on, but it looks like you don't have much regeneration to work with. You do have a ton of max HP, though. And we're not doing much damage to you, unfortunately. All right. Uh, so for this, we're going to definitely go with Anvil because the Anvil will reduce the uh, stamina cost of, uh, of the Busted Blade. So that'll be helpful. We definitely also want some heroic potions again for that stamina cost. And then I think I will go ahead and put you there. Uh, and then I can do that. Put that there and that. Okay. Get started. Still looking for an impractically large greatsword. I haven't found one yet. <clears throat> May need to check and see what its rarity is and try and re-roll a bunch on the whatever round gets us that rarity. I can't remember at the top of my head. I would think it's a legendary, but I could be wrong. <coughs> I'm definitely starting to fall behind people now. Uh, with uh, looking for this. So yeah, let's... um. It's a neutral item. Should be pretty. There it is. Uh, godly. Okay. So our godly chance is only 12% right now. It's still a little early, I guess. Maybe we should have worked on finding a early damage, uh, more of an early damage. Oh, why did I have that sideways? Damn it. That should be, yeah, it should be pointing at the hero sword so we can reduce that stamina usage. It doesn't really matter, I guess. We're nowhere near running out of stamina. Uh, yeah, but we are not doing nearly enough damage to anybody. We need to we need to come up with a new damage solution and fast, and there it is. There's our damage solution. All right, what can we sell here? Hmm. There's a carrot. We've been looking for that also. I think I sell our hero sword. As much as it pains me to say that, I think we sell the hero sword. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that. Move you out of the way. And then you can go there. You go there. Put you there, put you there to get that crit chance back. Uh, and then I have these two saved. So I'm put that there. We do lose our regeneration at that point, but it's okay. I think we'll be all right temporarily at the very least. There we go. Another hit. Whack. Another hit. Yeah, come on, one more, one more gets us a win. Yeah, with two health left. Oh my god. All right. Um, the busted blade has arrived. Fortunately, it is our only crafted item. We should probably have worked a little bit harder to get more, more crafted items here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. All right, throw some of this stuff back in, get some crit chance back, get that. Definitely gonna buy the cheap potion belt, if only because it is a great uh, storage solution at only three gold. All right, Kiro K. Although you got a uh, Steel Goobert build, those things are pretty scary. They scale really well. Oh, oh. 
doing work. 64 to 74 damage. I mean, Busted Blade doing everything. 243 by the end. Nice. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, definitely want to take that and a heart container. Especially because we're starting with six. Regen, we'll only need one more to get that health buff and two empowered, which again will mean 15 or 10 extra damage here. <clears throat> and then I think we just go there. I don't think it's worth it to reroll now. We'll be down to two gold. There won't really be any anything we can buy. Going up against another Berserker, this one with a cheese build. Cheese Guberts suck. They gain so much max HP, but we did get our uh, max HP uh, hookup from our uh, from our heart container. Come on, Busted Blade. Need you to attack faster, friend. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, maybe not fast enough. Oh, so close. Yeah, nice. That was uh, a win provided to us by Spiked Collars there. Our uh, Battle Rage lasted longer than theirs, so we got the win. Ooh, and we get a haste bag, yes. Speed it up, speed it up. All right. Um, felt like we were doing okay on stamina, so I'm not gonna worry about taking the uh, the rabbit. I don't remember. I can never remember what it's called. Um, I don't really see anything. Well, I guess I could sell my one flame. It's not really doing much. And then that gets me another spiked collar there. And really, this should be kind of being an idiot by not having heroic potion in the potion belt. At least then I will get a random buff thanks to it when it uh, activates. If it activates, I don't even know if it does, to be honest with you. Fucking dragons, man. They need to... I, this may be controversial, because I do love dragon builds, but the dragons need to get nerfed a little bit. They're insanely strong. Just, like, inappropriately strong. Okay, I'm going to save the Corrupted Crystal, because it will give us a damage bonus when our enemies get below 30% health, which will really help uh, as we get into the higher max health kind of territory here. All right, Ranger, you're going down. Just wait until I find my battle rage. I'm going to be so damn angry with you. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, come on, man. Really? Really? Cooldown was two seconds at that point. Damn. Man. That is rough. Well, uh, we can always jump into another one, of course. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do on this next one. Man. This one, next one might go a little bit better. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a 1,000 subscribers, and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member-exclusive Discord, early access to videos, and a shout-out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video, and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. All right, so I'll go ahead and take a stone. It is free and the uh, free pocket sand. So we can just resell it later. Take an on sale dagger. Banana. I'm going to leave the healing herbs behind this time. Don't think they were really doing much for us last time. Take a garlic as well to help speed up our banana. Just jump into these early matches. Make them quick. Hey, Berenstein here again. What's up? Can I get revenge this time for when you beat me last time? Yeah, got you this time. Don't fool me twice, Berenstein here. All right. Uh, there's a shield. There's that. 
Uh, can I get both of these bananas touching a garlic? Can I touch my banana to some garlic two times? Yes, I can. Ooh, a skull badge with a pyromancer, huh? All right, come on. Let's take them out. We got this, right? We got this. Oh, yeah, easily. We haven't hit Battle Rage yet. There it is. Win number two. Continuing on. Uh, probably take Axe for sure. But I'll probably sell... Well, maybe not. I was going to say I'll probably sell Dagger to fit the Axe. But I could always just do that. Wait till next round to buy more space to get that buckler in there. Uh, axe is definitely one of the better scaling weapons in the game. Every time you hit, it gains extra damage. So it is hugely uh, popular among Berserkers for good reason as well. Let's see. Ooh, okay, okay. Don't think I need to go with the third banana just yet. There's another axe, so I can get the double axe going. Uh, it is a big stamina use, so we'll probably have to sell it once we get our impractically large greatsword. But it should get us through some of these early matches, which was our problem last time. Is we uh, couldn't get our busted blade set up put together in time. There's that. Uh, I'd love to find some cheese somewhere along the way. And grab that. Uh, move you up there, you there, and then fit our buckler back in. All right, cool. Yeah, got a corrupted crystal waiting for us on sale, so we'll be able to slot that right on in. Uh, we may, oh, we got, the, no, maybe not. Okay. Battle Rage ended too soon. There we go. Busted, or not Busted Blade, but uh, Double Axe ready to go. We'll throw the Corrupted Crystal in there for now. And grab you. And... Save another fanny pack. I realize I could buy the axe on sale since it's free, uh, but we only have we don't have too much longer till our uh, subclass round, and I don't want to go too stamina heavy uh, ahead of time. I think we're probably pretty safe for the next few rounds anyway. Let's see. Can put you there, just like that. Perfect. Another standard bag for us. And save the spike collar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't have to save the spike collar. We can sell our stone and then buy the spike collar. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Come on. Yeah, we got the pyromancer. They haven't even dropped our armor yet. Oh, all they have is a wooden sword, though. That's why. Don't really know uh, what they're doing. All right. And again, we're going to go with the blacksmith here. Uh, I definitely think that's the way to go for any of your busted blade builds. Don't really see anything there. Probably take a uh, gloves of haste, turn them into uh, dragon claw gloves, I think is what they're called. And uh, well, I feel like we don't really necessarily want cap or resilience. We kind of want to get down to minimal amounts of uh minimal amounts of health not minimal i guess but half health so that we can get the uh get our battle rage to go off 
sooner. Ooh, now we lose this one because of cheese. Fucking cheese is so strong with Berserker. It is legitimately probably the strongest item they have in their pool. Okay, so that works on that. Yep, yeah. and then that is a 10% chance for resist poison and 40% faster triggers once we go into battle rage. Probably go ahead and grab a customer card. So hopefully I can get the... Uh, get the... Uh, impractically large great sword sooner go with the dragon skin boots as well because I believe they should give us empowered I know the leather boots do but I think the dragon skin boots also do I could be misremembering though damn just losing some of these late rounds I don't know what's going on here all right uh yeah cleanse three random debuffs gain in power and 12 armor so that's great um at this point we do want the impractically large great sword but i really don't think we can survive with the stamina of both i'm gonna sell sand <clears throat> and the customer card to be able to buy it um move you nope 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 uh Let's slide all this over. Wait, put you there and you there. That'll work. Okay, then you go there, you go there. Yeah, it's very high stamina usage is what it says. <clears throat> very high. Let's see how this works out for us. Probably not well, but we'll find out. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, pretty well. Definitely a lot better than I expected. Throw you in there. Throw you there. So this is a stamina cost of two every two seconds. This is five every five seconds. So they're both one a second. Um, reduced by 3%. Okay. Well, let's... We're going to move some stuff around. Let's just empty the bag. Uh, I think I'm going to try and keep both of them in, to be honest with you. I may regret that decision later. So ask me later how I feel about that decision to leave both of the stamina intensive items in here. I'm going to put you on that and then you go there. Okay. And bring you down you go there you point at that you do that uh throw you there bop bop there okay and then one two three you're free you're free uh when i say free i mean they have zero stamina cost so i don't need to worry about the stamina with them and let's see if we can't find ourselves a Wolpertinger. Oh, and on sale even. Uh, I mean, I gotta sell. I gotta get it. It's huge. Just the stamina regen we'll get from that alone is huge. Uh, plus gaining three of the buff we have the least of. Very good chance that that will be in power. Uh, I guess not necessarily once those uh, boots activate. Come on, come on. There's some big hits. One more hit. There it is. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Definitely would like some more stamina bags so that we can have more max stamina. Buy that in the short term. Okay, well, Nothing yet, uh, but our stamina cost is reduced by 0.6. Ooh, one more big hit. Oh, no, because they got freaking Phoenix. Damn. All right. Yeah, it may be worth it to just pull the double axe out, to be honest with you. I mean, our stamina cost goes down to low then. I think that's probably the way to go. 
unfortunately. Sorry, Double Axe. You've been you've been a, a real big help. I appreciate everything you've done for us. Um. Yeah, stamina usage is low, so I'm not going to take the heroic potion. I don't think we'll be able to activate it unless I get rid of the uh, unless I get rid of the what's that oh you're not pointing at it anymore there we go uh, get rid of this stamina sack so we have less stamina but I don't really want to do that okay we do have the opportunity to grab a third corrupted crystal uh, I mean, maybe we can just hit our goal of 300, ma you know, hitting a 300 damage single hit. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if we're there yet. we got a little wolf build we're going up against. Oh, oof. Neck and neck so far. We're doing big damage, but so are they. And they're taking all our buffs away, which sucks. Oof, yeah, not enough damage. And they got that healing once they hit their battle rage. Finally, we find some freaking cheese around here, man. Da Damn. All right. Um, don't really know if we're in a position for Goobert to really be super effective. Um, I guess just the healing would be nice, and he is on sale put you like that okay Let's see how that goes i mean we're not getting a ton of activations with goober we could probably do that better but for now let's see if it gets us a win Oof, probably not against this army of gooberts we're going up against uh, ooh, or maybe it does battle rage hitting hard 74 damage on that last hit uh let's see do that like that. And then the cheese is with three. That gets an extra activator. Perfect. Uh, what else we got here? We could go for a... Ooh, you know what? I could turn you into a blood goobert. That would probably be even better. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see, can I sell anything? I think maybe dagger goes for dragon skin boots. That'll get me another empower. So then I'll be at two empower when we enter battle rage. Uh, and those power empowered are huge uh, because they each equal five extra damage for us. So 212 we hit with that one. Holy hell, that was a lot of damage there at the end. 212. Let's go into survival, see if we can't get that number higher. Wow. That, uh, that blows me away, actually. All right. Um, can we fit another Wolpertinger? I guess we can. Throw you up there. You do better when you're near friends, though. Um but I don't think I can fit you down below at all. Yeah, definitely not. Hmm. All right, I think I'll just uh, throw you up top there. Ooh, more boots, huh? Okay, all right. Although now I have the problem of where do I put my shield? There we go. That works out. Beautiful. Put my extra flame back in there. Good to go, Miss Wine. What you doing? Oh, taking big old damage, huh? We're not in battle rage yet, but we already got them down significantly. All right. Ooh, 
I meant to, I was trying to pause it. It went a little bit too fast. 151 with that last hit. 240 to 265 at the end was our damage potential with Busted Blade. God damn. <clears throat> Definitely another spiked collar. And... Do that. Speed up Wolpertinger. Make sure we always have stamina. Anything else? There's another Wolpertinger up for grabs. I don't think we necessarily need that one, though. You know what? Actually, this should be here. Move you there. Uh, hmm. No, no, no. Where do I put this? Where do you go? I guess you could go there, there. Uh, like that. And then you go there, you go there, you go there. All right. Jumping in to this one. Only two rounds left. See how we can do here against the Clover build. They got lots of buffs. Oh, they took a stunt down. Oh, my God. What was that? Three hits they did? I mean, it was an eight-second fight, but 100 and... Yeah, right there at the end, 200 damage in crits. 210 damage in crits all at once. That is insane. And that's to us with our battle rage going. So that's even with damage resistance. All right, starting off the final round here of the run. Oh, another busted blade we're going up against. But they've got uh, some puppies with them. Uh, let's see if their strategy or ours is better. Uh, so far, it looks like it's theirs. Oh, God. All right. I mean, the puppies do give empowered, right? One of them gives empowered. Yeah, the armored power puppy has the potential to give empowered. So that's maybe is a better way to go with this. Um, I mean, as you could see earlier, the damage potential of this is insane. Maybe we don't need the anvil. Maybe I'm uh, worried too much about the stamina because they didn't have to worry about the stamina. They were fine. Uh, it does go down to three stamina costs, and it was low stamina to start with. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm worrying too much of that, and I should combine it with the armored uh, uh, with a wolf build. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video every single day, so there's always something to watch. If you have any comments on this, please let me know. If you want to interact further with the Hair and Sunbear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member-exclusive Discord, early access to every video I post, and at our highest tier, a shout-out in uh, a video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. To everyone else who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing, thank you. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Bye.